I spent two months with Monster Style Dance Store Drum and Bass. So today we're gonna dive into dance floor drum and bass, like artists says, sub focus and dimension. So what is dance floor drum and bass? It merges drum and bass drums with a one eight bass line and a catchy melody. So let's start off with the drums. Let's open up Apple Studio, set the BPM to around 175. Let's work on a basic with a kick drum and snare, making the basic drum and bass rhythm by moving the kick two steps to the right. And just a small variation at the end, like this. And then it's a matter of stacking it with a lot of top loops. So open up the dust sample pack, go to the top loops and just drop in a few loops. A key element I learned with making drum bass is to really overstack the drum loop to create a lot of movement and energy. So just drop it in. This one's solid as well. Same for this one. And finish it off like this. Then run up to the mixer channel and just lower down the volume. Just around here. And add some compression on the drum bus. And then it's just a matter of filling up the drums. So first I want to add in a vocal ambience. Like this one for example. And add in a ton of reverb on it. Just a small elements to make it a bit more interesting. And do the same with the bass shots. Because we're gonna add a rolling bass later on, just remove the low end and give it some room with reverb and delay. Something like this. So then the kick and bass are clashing a little bit. So then just create a sidechain channel, dock it to the right so we have it right over here. And in a fruity balance, create an animation clip and just make a manual sidechain. Just like this. Later on, we're gonna route all the elements to it. So then just wrap it at every kick. So all together, our drums sound like this. We got the drums ready, so now we're gonna dive into the roller bass. Let's make a preset a serum. Saw wave, two octaves down. Shape an envelope like this with a short decay, sustain a little bit back. Then the key elements of the sound, the diffuser filter. Giving this effect, placed around 135. Then another, then add another stage of filtering. With a really short envelope to the cutoff. Giving that roller bass vibe. Adding in some pluckiness. Then some soft clipping. Compression and just boost the high ends a little bit with envelope 2 to the gain. Then mixing wise, another stage of compression and just boost the mid end a little bit. So now we're gonna dive into MIDI. We are working in E minor, so let's start from the root note with a roller drum and bass rhythm like this. Then down to the 6 and up to the 7. And of course, right to the side chain, something like this. Already bringing the energy. So now I want to add some bass steps to it. Go to the dust pack. Yeah, this one could definitely work. And place it right here. And just mix it some more, remove the low ends. Some OTT. Really opening up the sounds. Make it stereo because we already have the bass and mono. Some delay, reverb. And of course, route it to the sidechain. And it's solid. So then just copy over the serum. And then this bass. And drop it in as a bass step. Just putting some more emphasis on the on the first notes so then just one tiny adjustment is automate the macro like this i just let it open up sometimes so all together our bass deck sounds like this so 
We got a drum and bass formation ready. So now it's time to dive the melodic elements. Let's start off with the leads. I got this preset from the dust pack loaded up. It's just a little bit more complicated saw wave. So let's just work on a mini. We are working in A minor, but I want to focus the melody more around the fourth and the fifth note of the scale. So in this case, it's the B and the A. And just a little variation. Those notes tend to work the strongest in a melody. So then we're going to duplicate it. And follow the progression. So we're, we are going from the C to the D. This F is off key, so just drag it in key. And do the same right here. Bring it Again, bring it back in key. Sounds weird, so I think I want to land it on the root note. Yeah, that's better. So let's listen to the full melody. Sounds solid. So now we need to mix it some more. Bit of EQing. Mixing the resonance. Open up the high end. Some, some OTT. And delay, reverb. And even more reverb. Yeah, it's really benefiting from the reverb, really puts it in a nice room. So that's it for all the drop elements. Let's duplicate it and see how it sounds all together. Yo. We got a really dope drop, so now it's time to work on the build up. First copy over the focal ambience, like this, and start off with an atmosphere. Yeah, solid. Move it to the right. And just build it up with some effects. I think I want to move the folk ambience to the start. And just drop in a Reese bass. To fit up the breakdown some more. Following the same progression. Like this. Let's bump it up an octave. I think that's that's a really dope variation for the breakdown. Just a steady note right here. Combined with a module automation. To really emphasize the build-up effect. And just combine it with a snare roll. And a kick like this. Really high energy. And I combine it with a sidechain automation on a Reese bass. To give the kick some more room. Also combine it with a local animation like this. And, and a smell. So then, the only thing that's missing is the rap vocal. Lucky enough we got those in the pack as well. It's not possible. Yo. Let's drop in this rap vocal. First of my kind, I say a lot of hits. Something like this. Today. So then I thought it misses something, so first I layer the kick with this clap and I dropped in this ARP sounds. Following the MIDI of the rear space with the A, C, D. And of course we're gonna automate a macro. It becomes a really spacious build up. So that's how you make a dance or drum bass banger. We can even arrange it some more by copying over this section and bringing back in a vocal right afterwards. So, but that's it for the video. I think the final episode turned out really dope. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Besides that, if you like it as well, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next videos. Yo. Look. First of my kind, I say a lot of hits. Which one do I perform today? They hit me with a sound, then I do what I do best. They claiming they're the best, but they beg us in the rest. Experience is the best, teacher. I'm passing a test. Came in a black band, but I left in a.